Check it out. Huh? Huh? For those who don't know, I finally got my hands on the NES Classic Edition. And if you don't know that, just stop what you're doing, go back, watch the unboxing video. We review this. Uh, we also have one. We review the games and do a bunch of tips and tricks from the NES. Really good stuff. Watch those. But I would normally say here that I would wait, but this is the internet. We're all adults here, or at least over 13, allegedly. So I'm gonna just keep going. You catch up. In fact, I bet you'll skip to the end and all this teasing and planning will be for nothing. But whatever. So now that you're back, you may have remembered or just seen that I don't have two controllers from our NES Classic Edition. And any Wii Classic controller will do, so I got this one. Now, look, okay, listen. May 2017 was this totally different time. We didn't know for sure we were going to get a Super NES Classic Edition, much less a Super Famicom Mini, which is basically what this is. Look at that. Just look at it. And I saw this thing and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. It's pretty unique. It's also, at least at the time, an exclusive for Club Nintendo in Japan. So yeah, I got it for $60. Now, look, okay, I couldn't find a second NES Classic controller in stores. I paid retail for this thing, so for all of you who are mad or jealous or whatever, I overpaid for this. I mean, they must have known this was coming, so they cut the price in half to $60. <sighs> I don't want your pity. Let's just open this thing up. Well, all right then, no sense beating him out the bush. How do I? Open this thing. Oh, thanks, John. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. <sighs> Thank you for playing Super Famicom. <laughs> Fool to them. Uh. Yeah, his instructions are, of course, very Wii specific. Okay. Oh boy. Virgin controller. Uh, I suppose it's possible someone opened this before. Seems unlikely though. We RVL005. That settles it. Oh, well, that's nice. Let's do a couple of comparisons. Only seems fair, right? Against the uh, SNES Classic controller and the original Super Famicom. All right, first, these plugs are probably nearly identical. Oh, oh, look at that. Darn it. Well, I mean, this was meant for the Wii and not uh, one of the classic edition or uh, mini consoles. But all right, so there's our first big difference. Anyway, it's got the Super Famicom coloring and uh, logo compared to this. So this was made later. We have the uh, indented beveled lettering here. If I remember correctly, I think my American ones have like a printed label. Yeah, here we go. So maybe this was based off of like a, a later model. Yeah, mod CLV202. This is definitely made specifically for the SNES Classic. Super Famicom controller SHVC005, so that 005 is probably just a nice nod to the original numbering. So yeah, the plastic is very different. I mean, this is a bit yellowed, but um, the, the mat is, a, is slightly different inside the uh, circle of the D-pad here. Um, it's actually a little less textured on the newer version. The print color is different. It's more of a dark gray, or it's, it's nearly black uh, on the original. A little more clicky, but of course, this is brand spanking new. You can't go wrong. I wish I had uh, a Super Famicom Mini to compare against. Vink does. Maybe I'll get him to bring it to the States, or at least one of the controllers we can do a comparison later. Well, this is all real interesting, right? Let's do what we came here to do and plug it into the NES Classic. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yep, that was basically pointless. Fat Logo, that's going to do me on player two. There. This is God and Miyamoto intended. 
All right, so uh, here I am. I have my NES Classic. I have my Super Famicom Wii Classic controller that's plugged in. And I'm not really expecting a lot of surprises here, but there was something I did want to talk about, for something someone told me. We'll see. Let's look for a particular, ah, I love Mega Man 2. All right, push A. Now, from what I was told, or at least what I had heard, um, was that the Super Famicom controllers on an NES Classic emulate what a Super Famicom controller would do if they were plugged into an NES. What? Huh? Now, the Super Famicom was meant to be backwards compatible with the Famicom. Long story, we'll get to it eventually. Uh, suffice to say that the Y and B buttons are supposed to take the place of the B and A buttons on an NES controller, and that's why certain games like Super Mario World use those as the primary action buttons and A was that funny spin jump thing. Anyway, someone said that the, the exact same thing happens when this is plugged into an NES Classic, so let's see if that's true. All right, so we're gonna do uh, Y and B and jumping. That feels kinda, it feels kinda, well, that doesn't quite feel right. What's probably happening is that the B and the A buttons are actually mapped correctly, as one would expect with a Wii Classic controller. They didn't really change the mappings of the buttons, uh, so I'm gonna try that instead. All right, now this feels better, but man, I don't like the orientation of these buttons. Turns out that X behaves the same way as B and Y behaves the same way as A, uh, so I can use X and A as the same orientation of the Y and B buttons as I would want. And now all of a sudden, oh, that feels so much better. And uh, I'm glad too, because I mean, you know, I have the NES Classic controller, so I can still play with the original configuration. But like this, this whole like A and B swap, not quite in the right order thing, is the exact reason I never got the collection for the Mega Man games on the GameCube. Because similarly, the B and the A buttons are in this opposite configuration and I would have just liked any way to map it and there's no way. Well, I don't want to say there's no way. Let's try something. All right, so if we go up to options, nope. Nope, display, language, legal notices, manuals. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any way to uh, change the controller configuration. And for the most part, why would you need to? Because you shouldn't be using other controllers in this thing, right? So as expected, uh, this works pretty well. It's a pretty nice second controller, although for the price. Uh, and um, it only will work uh, in controller two um, unless you do some surgery to remove the extra Wii clip uh, for what is going to be, and this in this case, uh, an unused uh, Wii controller strap. Um, but anyway, I guess uh, until next time, thanks for watching. We also have lots of uh, Fam Account Dojo set up for the 16-bit uh, summer this year, so please make sure you're subscribed to Fam Account Dojo and watching all those episodes. We have some great new stuff, crossovers. We're hoping to finish up our 16-bit war story, finally. Till next time.